They're barely 20 and have a dream, becoming paratroopers. From recruitment office to plane door, we followed Marie Charlotte, Jeremy, Corinne, and Christopher. In the 1st Paratroopers Regiment, they will discover military rigor and physical demands. At the end of the training, the best will belong to the paratrooper family. The path is long and difficult, not all will succeed. It's a 95 horsepower vehicle with a turbo diesel engine, power steering and air conditioning. Wait, I'll take your picture. Don't go anywhere. So you like it? Yeah, it was great. There's potential. Since the end of military service 10 years ago, the armies had no other choice. It recruits. To attract new soldiers, it travels everywhere, including to secondary schools. Today, it's in a gymnasium by the Valfore Housing Projects. What about Army Baker? Army Baker? It's a job. Yes, I know. I saw the document. We have 400 trades. There are more men in the Army than women. The Army is only 12 or 15 percent, but that's already a lot. Isn't it hard to have a family life with all this? No. No, most military personnel are married. We're the 121st train regiment, based in Arpajan. Montalheri, we're in the 91, and I'm a driver in the squadron. Do you like this regiment? Yeah, this one's nice. But that's not what I want to do. What would you choose? I'd go with the paratroopers. Why? Because I like it. It's not the same thing at all, it's all civilian. It's protecting civilians. It's transporting stuff. That's not what I want. I'm more interested in the physical part. Action? Exactly. The rest's useless. It's like taking my little sister to school. It's the same thing. Jeremy Lescalier is 19. He's an orphan and has no diploma. The army is certainly his last chance to find the structure he never had. I want to know what it's like to live in the real world, because civilian life is all very well, but it doesn't bring anything, really nothing at all. Afterwards, kids are in the projects doing stupid things. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for a life. My life, that I want to make for myself, with no help from anyone. But you could do it somewhere other than the army. No, for me, no it's the army, that's what I need. They'll be my second family. It's the people I'm going to get to know, the peers, the top brass who are going to teach me. That's what I want, to start over. Why start over? Because life hasn't been easy for me. And I wish I could make it just to make my parents proud. To prove to them, even to them in heaven, that I can become someone, and not just a nobody. That's what I want. Prove to people that I'm not just anyone. Here are my contact details. You can either call me to make an appointment or come and see me during public opening hours, Monday to Thursday from 9 a.m. to midday, or from 1.30 p.m. to 5 p.m., or Friday morning, okay? Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Have a good day. Goodbye. Will you go and see him? Yeah, I'll go see him, yeah. Very soon, certainly. We caught up with Jeremy Lescalier at the Army Recruitment Center in Versailles. It's the gateway to enlist. He came to submit his application. Hello? Hello. Okay. I have an appointment with Captain Pereira, Miss Festino. Marie Charlotte Festino, too, is here to get involved. She's 18 and wants to become a paratrooper. Miss Festino. Nice to meet you. Marie Charlotte has an appointment with a recruiter for what looks like a job interview. What draws you to this profession? Well, first, 
the sense of responsibility, respect for hierarchy. I was raised in a family with values. Values, that's it. You found the word I was looking for, values. I like this structure system too. Okay. I had started college, but I didn't like it at all. What's your education background? I did a literary baccalaureate last year in June. What about now? Right now I'm on standby for the army. So you left school? Yes, that's it. So what is the life of a soldier today? It's being available 24 hours a day. That's good. You already know everything. It's impeccable. I prepared. What else? You have to love exercise, sport. You have to know how to listen to people, take orders. Also serve. One thing is for sure. It's that you are offered a job, which is to be a soldier. The job is to be a soldier. Of course. Great. We're not asking you to be a secretary and so on. We are all soldiers. And then we have different specialties. What does it mean to be a soldier today? That's the question? That's the question, in your opinion. You gave me some reasons earlier, but you forgot the essential point. We're not soldiers to do humanitarian work. We're not soldiers to help the population, even if we do help. We do it because it's part of our mission. Initial military training is combat training. In other words, you'll be taught how to use a weapon. We'll teach you the basics of field combat. A secretary with us is not a secretary in a miniskirt and heels. It's a secretary in combat uniform who will also stand guard, who will play sports, who's going to wash trucks and parachute, who is going to serve abroad. In Kosovo or wherever, do you understand? Do you have any idea of the location? Yes. This, yes. It's in the south, near Carcassonne. Looking to escape the Paris region? Yes, totally. Why is that? It would allow me to get to know people and even discover the world. It's fun. Travel is fun. You don't only see France. They're escaping routine. They want to change things up a bit, discover new horizons, and that's one of the reasons why they're going to the army. The action, dynamic, active, a taste for adventure. It's their main motivation. You do have to take orders. That's fine. Your mom? No. Is it true mom is bossy? A little. It's true. I'm a little strict. I have to be. With four, it's not a choice. Better this way. No, of course. If a tree has good roots, it can stand upright. Indeed. That's true. That's very good. <laughs> She's gonna enlist instead. No. I'm very happy she's made this decision. I'll give you the checklist for your application. Okay. Once your file has been opened, you'll have to prove yourself at the selection center. The selection center will observe you for two and a half days. To prepare at home, you need to be on your best behavior. You see what I mean? First part, medical. Second part, psychometric and logic tests. Last part, sports. So be ready. Don't worry about it. Physically, you have to be ready. It's based on running. I run every day. And the last test, which isn't the easiest. Pull-ups for the boys and a pull-up hold for the girls. You take a high bar, palms facing out, head above the bar. And then you stay as long as possible. Okay? Okay. Let's say you want to be a paratrooper. If you hold on for three seconds... Yeah, it's not worth it. That would be a bit ridiculous. You understand? You put your feet there. I'm going to be way too high. Get on it. And I'll take it away. First, get on it. Yes, get on the chair. Marie, come on, focus. But I won't be able to hold. Like this, maybe. But not like that. 
Come on. One, two, three. Come on. <laughs> One second, 53. That's better than usual. I have a lot of trouble with that. What's her best time so far? Well, 158. No, like that I managed. Yeah, 83 hundredths. No, yeah, two or three seconds. But she has to hold longer. I have no technique. Dinner time, put the phone down and come sit. You order your children like in the army. Yeah, but there's no whip here. Usually, there's a whip. But they shredded it. <laughs> and before eating, we say grace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O oh Lord. Bless this meal, those who prepared it. And give bread to those who have none. So be it. Holy Virgin Mary, pray to Jesus, amen. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Enjoy. Bon appetit. How will you feel if I make it? Oh, so cool. If, but there's no if. You're going to make it anyway. Yes, but let's say if. There's no point. Why? You're not going to fail because of a bar. But it's essential. Marie, it's a bar. You get on a stool, hold on, and done. How long do you have to hold? 10 seconds. Yes. 10 seconds. Minimum. It's normal for you to be a bit scared. You're almost there. Yes. I want to make it so badly. You will. I just don't want to disappoint anyone. Because everyone around me, you, my friends. Do it for you. But we won't be disappointed. We know what you're worth. I know. Either way, it's great. This morning, selection begins for Marie-Charlotte Festino and Jeremy Lescalier. Along with some 30 other hopefuls, they will be assessed over a two-day period. The medical examination is the first essential step. The slightest physical anomaly means elimination. Look straight ahead. Size, weight, electrocardiogram, hearing test, visual examination. For Jeremy and Marie-Charlotte, all is well. For others, the dream of joining the army ends here. You're going to see the head doctor. Where? It's the last bench over there. I was told paratrooper is dead because I have bow legs. And she told me you are temporarily unfit because you have coagulation problems. I have to wait 10 days. I have to come back in 10 days. But I won't even come back. All that fuss for nothing, it's a waste of time. It may be a waste of time, but it's not a tragedy either. I want to be a paratrooper. It's worth a try. She said no for paratrooper, I've got bow legs. You can't lose it like this. They're all gonna go and I'm gonna stay here, I'm disgusted, I swear I'm disgusted. Hello, Mom? Yeah, it's me. How are you? Tell me, how was your day? I was declared fit for the medical part. You've only had the medical. Yeah, it was only the medical. We were 25, but quite a few have left. And so they've declared me fit to continue. Awesome. Yeah. You need a good night's sleep. You're not too stressed? No, well, yes, for the pull-up hold, but... Yeah. We'll see. Are the boys nice to you? It's fine. They're boys. If they give you a hard time, I'll come. No, but I'll be fine either way. <laughs> Good evening, Major. Who's worked up here? No one. You'll be laughing less tomorrow on the sports courses. Don't worry, I'll still be smiling. <coughs> if we see your prowess, maybe we'll smile too. I swear I won't. Your number? I don't know. 13. <laughs> I'll remember it. Have a good night. Remember last night you said easy. Last night you said easy. No. I think he's got me in his crosshairs. I don't think they like me here. You've already lost three points. You need to secure two balls. Come on, let's get some balls in. Higher. 
Good timing. Jeremy Lascalier is one of the first to take to the course. An easier replica of the obstacle course. We're not done yet. There's still the pull-ups. Calm down a bit. Each exercise earns points and his time. Tall but efficient. I didn't get a good look at the bag drop and lift. Maybe that's not how we showed it, right? Yeah, but we're not asking you what's better. 118. 172. Careful with instructions. 155. You have to follow the instructions. It's not to punish you. That's how it is. It's to save your little spine. He has a little resistance to authority, a little tendency to argue. So we'll have to see, we'll have to dig a bit deeper in our interviews. So next, pull-ups. Miss will start with you. You've got the blue steps to get into position. For you, chin up above the bar. As soon as you are above, you block, knees bent or stretched. From there, I hold. As soon as you're above, the timer starts. If she wants to pursue her dream of joining the paratroopers, Marie-Charlotte Festino has to hold for at least six seconds. You should aim for 15 seconds. Breathe, don't rest your chin. Come on, hold on, no problem. 12 seconds. Careful when getting down. I'm glad. I couldn't believe it. So don't worry about the six seconds, you doubled it. And now we move on to the pull-ups. The boys must do a minimum of six pull-ups to avoid elimination. Four. Breathe. Five. No. Yes. Okay. No need for tricks in between. Five. Yes. Okay. Six. Let's see if he pushes himself. Seven. He does have the willpower. It's not a question. It's not a lack of willpower. It's that he's confrontational. Eight. Not an agitator, I think. More of a jokester. There's a bit of confrontation. A little exuberant, but you can see the willpower too. Well, I guess he's got some energy to channel. Will the army be able to channel him? Certainly. If we recruit him. <coughs> Another young man will get noticed today, but in a different style. Four, watch out below. Five, yes. Intense. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come on, we need ten. Yeah, ten. Come on, let him focus. He's motivated. Eleven. He's done. It's okay, he touched. Eleven for number fourteen. Pull-ups are really about muscular power, but they also require willpower. And we see a young man really giving it his all, like Mr. English, who really really pushed himself to the limit. It's good. Is that the type of candidate you're looking for? Not necessarily what we're looking for, but personally, I like it. I like to see the willingness on a candidate's face. There I saw it. Christopher English is 20 years old. He too dreams of being a paratrooper. In addition to being among the best physically, Christopher is going to shine in the final test, the cognitive tests. Reasoning, personality, motivation. Candidates are assessed for several hours. My brain is drained, a real IQ test, I'd say. Like talking to a shrink. Here again, Christopher is one of the best. 14. from a first assessment of the physical and cognitive tests, just by looking at the results, you can sense a very, very good potential. End of tests for Christopher English, Jeremy Lascalier, and Marie-Charlotte Festino. Soon they'll know whether or not they've been assigned to a regiment.
Mom, two different oils. From two different brands, do they mix? Yes, it's olive oil. Yeah, but wait, how much vinegar are you going to use now? I'm going to do this a bit by guesswork. I'll mix it and taste. If he leaves for the regiment, he won't have all these comforts then. That's true. It's true. It must be said that he's now mastered pasta cooking. Yes, hello? Yes, hello, this is the Sergeant Major. Is this Mr. English? Yes, hello, Sergeant Major. Yes. You well? Very good. Are you ready for a little action? Yes. Well, it's for April then. Really? Oh, yeah. We got the results from the commission earlier. So, in April, off to the 1st Paratroopers Regiment. Okay. I'll call you back to make an appointment. We'll prepare you. For your departure. Ah, yes, I'm glad. Yes. I'll let you tell your mom. No problem. Have a good day. Have a good day. See you. I knew it. <sighs> wow. See, I told you. You're crying, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Wait, here, have a handkerchief, Mom, because... These exams were called graduation day in Monterey. His hair was already gray at that age. I recognize him a little more here. Christopher's father is a former U.S. Army serviceman. Divorced, he now lives in Germany. This is a bit like Top Gun. Well, yeah. <laughs> With a cigarette in his mouth, he still does that. Hi, Dad. I have great news. Telling me that I was accepted at uh, the parachutists. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, you saw? Fourth of April. Wow, fourth of April. Yeah. So if it's minimum mm -hmm. six months, but I don't know when will be my breaks. Really proud of you. Okay. Thank you. I was just showing him uh, the pictures of uh, when you went through boot camp and uh, went through Monterey School and uh, were sent to Germany. <laughs> A month later, it's departure day. I welcome you all. Good luck in your new life. Keep us posted. And I hope your career will be as exciting as mine. This morning, they're signing their contracts. Tonight, they'll be sleeping at the barracks. I'm going to Pamier. Pamier? Happy? Happy. You have to bite into it, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, get involved in the training process. Yes, sir. Then you sign the contracts. Miss Festino, where to? To Pamier. It's going to be tough, you know? I'm going to hang in there. Have you been working out? Yes, I'm sure you have. I can see it in your eyes. Shall we sign? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Mr. Lescalier, any questions? No. Happy? It has to end quickly. No, it mustn't end quickly, Monsieur Lescalier. It must begin. Yes, I've been waiting a long time for this. So how does it feel? That's it. Five-year contract for Christopher and one-year contract for Marie Charlotte. Good luck. Jeremy has a special clause. Okay, good luck. Now the contract's done. You're there on a one-year contract, which is one of the contracts the Army is willing to give you a chance on. How long is your contract? One year, with a three-month trial period. Why is it only one year? He has a one-year contract, and in his case, it's because the trials were average. And so, in committee, we had to put it on the table and say that Mr. Lescalier could succeed, but he's ready to take that chance. Until now, he did as he pleased. Tomorrow, for example, he'll wake up at 6. If he's always late, never on time, never dressed up, he's a liar. He lied to everyone. 
The tests showed that he has the aptitude. He convinced us that he wants to do this job. The ball is now in his court. It's up to him to show us that we weren't wrong, that he deserves the chance we've given him. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready now, so I'll grab my bag and head straight out. Oh no, my daughter's leaving. <laughs> Even if you don't use your phone too much, you'll call me. Don't worry, we'll be unreachable most of the time anyway, so... See you. Well, bye mom. See you. See you sis. Good luck. Bye, Dad. I'll call you. Bye, honey. See you. It doesn't even say Pamier. Over there, I think. Restaurant, hotel, that's promising. There's the hotel. There's the hotel, how nice. The barracks of the 1st Paratroopers Regiment is where the young recruits will complete their training. For six months, they will be cut off from their families. Festino, all good. Hello, Lescalier, Jeremy. Lescalier, all good. Thanks. They're not joking. No. I don't know. It's getting serious. The authority is already there. It's starting. You already feel the authority? Yeah. They don't seem to be laughing. They're not smiling. We just arrived. Not even a smile. Nothing at all. To introduce myself, I'm Sergeant Orgeret. I'm the oldest sergeant in the section. You'll get to know me. For those of you from Paris, this will be a change. Around here, there's a power station and cows. Okay? And you'll get to know the area, I assure you. So here we are in front of the regiment. Your regiment. So that's a young recruit you might be opening at the gate one day. I hope so for your sake. The command post has written on it. Beware the birds of prey that swoop down from the sky. That's our hymn. It will be engraved in your blood. The parade ground. The second company, the most stunning, as of course I'm in it. It's this one. They are currently in Afghanistan. And here you have the 12th company. 12th company, this is where you'll be staying for the next six months. Pick up your bags. Who's the last one out? So? Happy. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Frankly, it's magnificent. No, no. They have to go change and then come back. Don't be afraid, guys. We'll get the stuff quick. If I run a little fast, I've got time to get away. Now I'll show you your beds. Follow me, get your bags this way. Observe the staff you see, because they've already been with us for three months. You see them running everywhere. It won't be for the first few days, but it'll happen. So there you go. Your new home. Okay, so you choose a bed. I won't choose it for you. It's big. It's spacious. In any case, I have more cupboards than at home. I'm happy. You like it? Yes. Not too rough an arrival? No. Well, what do you expect anyway? It's fine. And so the girls are being led by a woman? Yes, there's two of us. I'm ranked first class. I'm their team leader for the moment, and there's a sergeant who's also there to supervise them, a group leader. We didn't know that women supervised women in the army. Yes, it's mandatory. 
That's how it is. Reassured? Yes. <laughs> For the bed. Okay. Good? Yes. And lastly, a heated blanket. Sign here. Okay. To say you received it. What? Hospital corners already? No. No? They said you'd do the best you can. And that in any case, tomorrow we'd be receiving our first lessons for hospital corners. Let's at least try to keep things as clean as possible. It's okay. It's cute. It's cute. It's not my room, but... We didn't expect to come to the club med anyway. Now I'm struggling to make my bed. First night at the barracks. It's 10 p.m. Lights out, the curtains, they're not closed. Your phone you hang up. 10 p.m. means going to bed, not phoning home. This isn't tidy. I know. I'll do it later. I did it quick. Yeah, okay. Good night, see you tomorrow. 10 p.m. First time I've gone to bed at 10 on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. All on their phones. I can't get a signal in this room. Now, are you allowed to call? No, but someone's gonna call me. I'm waiting. <laughs> Luckily, there are girls here. At least... When you see the chicks' faces, though, it's not that good. Honestly, out of the four, only one is cute. The first class one. He's gonna say the redhead. The redhead? <laughs> what a jerk. For me, the brunette. The next day, around the barracks, the combat companies are already training. The new ones are still a long way off. For them, the gatherings are in the parking lot, and the problems aren't quite the same. About the keys, we made some rather big key rings, I think, to keep them out of your pockets. If with this system, it still fits in your pockets, I can change the key ring, I don't mind. And instead of a small piece of wood, I'll put a bombshell. Then, I think per kilo, it will sting your eyes. The time we lose today is the time we'll get back tonight after 8 o'clock, and so on. And you're going to need your rest, believe me, so don't go off with those keys every time. Form a line, without a sound. If I hear a noise, I'll get upset. If I get upset, it's going to sting your eyes. I don't want to hear anything, is that clear? Last moment in plain clothes. Group by group, they collect their packs and uniform. Three white briefs in a green pack. It stands out. You haven't put it in the bag yet? How many are you missing? Look in the bag to see if it's already there. Briefs? Yes, they supply everything here. Briefs, socks, condoms, cigarettes. <laughs> and even the woman to go with it. That would be nice. Size-wise, the tallest over there. Then, young man here. We're going to look great in this, see? Hat size? What? Hat size? I don't know. What do you give them? These are two F1 shirts. So this is the warm underwear. Then we give them a cap. Here. And a paratrooper's cap, the Bajard cap. Like the famous French army general. Here, try this. Straight. Yeah. The thing in the back is a bit weird. I must have looked so good. My girlfriend would be making fun of me. Your pants are more like short pants, aren't they? That's too long. Pack up quick, you're not the only one today. Oh, but I know. It's great, I'm so happy. Sorry? Well, it's new. Just receiving it. It's nothing, it's rare that we're told it's great. The red beret is the paratrooper's symbol. 
earn the right to wear it, you have to go through the airplane door on the day of the first jump. In the meantime, it will remain in the closet. Come on, last one, hurry up. Yeah. Not yeah, it's yes. Yes. This package we've just given you will serve you for the rest of your career. However short or long it may be. You'll all be making the same pay. You're all on the same pedestal. Outside, some have been better off than others via their families. Here, forget that. You're all on an equal footing. Is that clear to all six of you? Good. Now wave your hands and grab a Paco bag in each hand. And you never let go. Twenty kilos on the back plus ten in each hand. A foretaste of what's in store for the young recruits. The sooner it's put away, the better. Because I'm starting to wear out. It's heavy. It's horrible. It's fucking horrible. I can't believe we wear it like this. Yeah, I did that before. Actually, it's because you don't have the fold at the top. You have to iron it. They told me the same thing. Oh, way to iron it. Here, the fold's done. Did you iron at home? As rarely as possible. Who did the ironing? La madre. My mom. Do you ever think about your mother? When I iron, I tell myself how brave she is, because ironing is a real science. When it's the first time. Wait. You hooked me up wrong there. Well, I'm off to the 100-kilometer walk. We're not going to go too far in the hills. In any case, if we fall, we can just roll over. Chest out, chin up, hands at belt level. Are you all in front of a chair right now? Sit down. You go into a room, you keep quiet. You only open your mouth when you're told to. Is that clear? Yes, Sergeant. There's no whatever, or I don't have a seat, or you lost my pen. Clear? Yes, Sergeant. So me, I didn't have any parents. I come from the DAS. All right? To tell you a little bit about my life before. A sergeant, married, two children. And I teach you. I teach 51 guys. And I'm an orphan. And from the projects, for those who want to talk to me about that. I'm not bragging. I've become someone. And I want everyone to become someone in this institution. In the army, in the paratroopers. If I manage to make it, each and every one of you can make it too. Some of you come from a more or less well-off background, but the person who comes to complain to me telling me I'm doing social work, I won't do social work. Why? Because I've lived. Okay? So the guy who tells me I can't do it, I can't do it, I myself could, so you can too. There's one thing to remember. It's going to be hard in this regiment. And if you don't have even a little bit of emotion when you see the French flag flying in the air, when we raise it in the morning and lower it on a flagpole, if you don't know all these traditions, why we raise it and why we lower it, and if you don't give a damn, you've got no business in this environment because people have died for this flag. And you, the new generation, you don't give a damn about it. Maybe we'd be speaking German by now. Okay? This French flag for me is the most beautiful. I will, and maybe not, die for this flag. Get that through your skull. And for you, each and every one of you, we're not playing Legos or G.I. Joe. Because sooner or later I might tell you to go post yourself by the bush over there, and maybe that won't be the right solution. Or it'll be the right one, because I'm the one who's going to get bombed, and you'll have moved and found cover. I'll be in charge of your lives. 
because I repeat, and I can't stress this enough, you're going to learn how to use a weapon to save your life. Help people, because we're often an interposing force. And to save your superiors too, those who command you, because you'll learn to love them. And I want you to get it through your thick skull. Brothers in arms, what does that mean? You joined the paratroopers. What are the paratroopers? That's from the moment they get on the plane. Strapped, they all leave through the same door. Compared with other units. See what I mean? Did I make you a picture? You will all know why birds sing. I put that in quotation marks too. It's a little emotional. Getting back to the timetable. First wake up as soldiers. It's 5.30 a.m. Wake up. Get up. Shave. Hospital corners. All good? Did the brain print? I'm more tired than yesterday. I'm completely exhausted, but it's okay. Anyway, we have no choice. How do you feel after the speech? Oh, I'm good. Anyway. No, I'll be fine, I hope. Bedroom, attention. Bedroom at ease. When you're in charge of a room, you stand at attention beforehand, and then you order. Preparatory order, executory order, let me explain. I'll mime it for you so you understand. I stand at attention first, I look at my comrades and say, for the whole, at attention. You don't just sit back and relax like you did there. For the whole, attention. Like that. Why? Because we first stand at attention when we order. We're always at attention. Okay, I get it. Watch out for the belt, right? Rudely known as a nut holder. Mine doesn't hold my balls. They're not laughing anymore. No, not anymore. Now we're getting to the heart of the matter. It's quick. Two days earlier, they were home. Of course. It's got to hit home, because this is just the beginning. There's still a lot of stuff to do, so they have to understand quickly. We give them one chance, and then they have to get the hang of it. This won't show up in your room anymore, the hair there. See that thing there? The hair. The stuff on the floor. Okay? That won't show up anymore. You're not doing it now. Now you're in review, so you go back to the others. How do you say, yes, Sergeant, Roger, Sergeant? Bedroom at attention. That's before they exit. That's before they exit. Yeah, well, it's all the same. Did you know that everything had to be dried? Yeah, I told them, but... Sometimes it goes in one ear and out the other. There's a lot to be done anyway. Clean your boots as soon as they're a bit dirty. When you've got two minutes, instead of having a smoke, take the brush and give it a quick wipe. It wakes you up too. Your head's upside down. It's perfect. When we get back out, we look good, we're clean, we're proud. Let's go, tighten your boots. Attention! To the right! Right! Turn around! Right! Two, one, two, one. Two, one. So, the step? It's not hard. You just have to count in your head, and it works by itself. I don't mind the military step and all that, but what's the point of the hospital corners? Besides remaking the bed, making hospital corners and all, what's the point? I don't see the point. It's useless. I just follow. I'm okay standing at attention, the boots and so on. 
but the hospital corners. We have a bit too much at times. We suffer a bit. Hard time? Yes. Yes, it's hard. It's been 24 hours that we've been... that we've been following orders. Yes, it's hard. We're struggling to keep up. Not much sleep. It's difficult. Only a few days in. Marie Charlotte's bandmate is starting to crack. Her name is Corinne Gobert, and she has an appointment with the section chief. Do you have any family in the area? No. No family here? No. Where do your parents live? The north. What did you do before coming here? You're 23, so you must have been out of school for a while. I have a four-year-old boy. Okay, are you married? No. You're not married? No. And you raised your little boy all by yourself? Yes, but right now he's with his father since I'm in the army. I see. Yesterday I was told I wouldn't be seeing him for three months. It was a bit... It got you down? Yes. You think you're not going to see him for three months? Well, I hope not. For the first three months, we're not going to keep you at the regiment 24 hours a day for your classes, okay? Obviously. You'll be going home for at least a weekend, or two, so you can see your little boy. Okay? Thank you. No, you don't have to thank me, no need. No one thanks me, okay? It was... The day I took the train here, it was difficult. At the station, he was crying. He cried his eyes out. It was hard. For me, the trip was... But then... It's an incredible journey you've made coming here. Yeah, but... No, because I tell myself that if I can do it, then life will be good. We can make it. I'm doing it for my son. To be able to pay for his studies, to buy a house. To have a good life. And ever since I was 15, I wanted to join the army. So I thought, let's go, I'll take the plunge. How old is he? He'll be four on Tuesday. What's his name? Jillian. It's difficult because I won't be here for his birthday. And I don't know what I'll be like on Tuesday. It weighs on me. I don't know how I'll feel. It's going to be a bad day for me. If you've noticed, it's only the top brass. It's only the top brass who are doing stuff. Look, even the corporal is coming to give them a hand. We'll have shoe shine parties at night. Straighten your jacket and pull up your belt. Don't look at the sky, look at me. This morning, the young recruits receive their famas, the rifle they will use during training. An important moment that even forces Chef Amarger to repeat his speech. This is the first time he has led a section. Are you as tense as they are? Oh yes, scared to slip up. It's normal. I've never done this before. At attention. Section Carmen 2 assembled. Chief Sergeant Pino at your orders, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Gentlemen, you will receive your personal defense weapon. This weapon of war will be issued to you for the duration of your stay with the 12th Company. You will learn to use this weapon in all circumstances through tactical and technical instructions in order to make you fighters. You'll be feared by the enemy, both in terms of deterrence as well as destruction. In time, you'll parachute with it. Gentlemen, here are your weapons. 
This is your famous 13461. This is your weapon, the Farmers B09423. This is your weapon, the famous B09440. This is your weapon, the Farmers 0900B09435. This is your weapon, the Farmers 12007. Assemble. Shit! I don't care, I don't know! Hey you, running there. You must be English. I can't see you from there, but I know it's you. Five minutes left! Five minutes! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! I'm your sergeant. Next time I'll nuke your head. I will hit you. Do you know what it means to be hit? Yes, sergeant. 